Okay. Yeah, get that out of the way. <clears throat> I have made a scoring chart. Over here is a list of the boards as they appear on the laser disc. Audio feedback and Yeah, people are dropping off. They don't want to see how. They don't, we don't, we don't want to see that, you know. We're going to have some facts put on us. You know, he's going to show us right now how it's not possible. So we're just going to pretend we don't see that. But for the people that, still, uh, that are still here, I'm going to show you. Now over here are a list of the boards as they appear on the laser disc. Now, the order you get the boards when you play the game do not come in that order. Now I named them what I always called them. First one will be the crumbling room, tentacle room, snake room, fire ropes, dagger pool, spider, calder, and giddy goons. And let me see, counting the two regular placed falling platform boards, one three level, one nine level, and then there's you have to go nine level on the reversed one, all the way up to 38, the Dragon's Lair. Now here's the scoring chart. See, this is where it's going to get interesting. <clears throat> this is where you start. Say you start here, number four. That could be your first board. Fire ropes. Number four, fire ropes. Number four, fire ropes. Or you could have started with a filling wall or reverse fire ropes, but I just put the regular fire ropes as the first one. Now, that board is worth 5,303 points. Now, when you clear that board, you can either have 14... Oh, Jesus, you know. Well, we might lose the Skype, but I'll still have my Twitch channel. 14, which is the Iron Horse, and that's worth 3,850. Or, if you clear the first board, you go down here, and you could have something like the Drink Me board, but later on in the game I substituted that with a higher scoring wild card board, number 29 which is the tilting floorboard. <clears throat> so basically what you're seeing is the the Dragon's Lair Dream Game. Now this is completing all of these boards on the hardest difficulty setting with the wild card boards thrown in. Now here's a list of wild card boards. Reverse Fire Ropes, Reverse Dagger Pool Spider, Reverse Iron Horse, Reverse Grim Reaper, Reverse, or not Reverse, but Tilting Floor. It's not actually Reversed. Now here are your lowest scoring boards. The Crumbling Room, the Wind Tunnel, the Filling Wall, the Reverse Fire Ropes, and the Drink Me. Now what I did on this chart, <clears throat> illustrating the, the flow of the game, first section of the castle, you clear it, you go up. Second section of the castle, you clear it, you go up. Third section of the castle, down to the dragon's lair. And the boards you see highlighted in green highlighter are where I took a low scoring board out of their normal placement and put a wild card board in their place with a higher score. I mean, there's got to be somebody interested in this. I mean, I, I mean, I've lost like like seven viewers so far. Ah, we don't want to see how he's how he's presenting any facts. Ah, we don't want to see that. That way, we can always say he didn't do it. But to those who are still watching, what I did was took the lower lower scoring boards in the scene order of the castle and I replaced them with these higher scoring wild card boards because 
you have a very slim chance of getting these boards. But just for the sake, you have a dream game where they come up and the higher scoring wild card boards fall in the exact place where they're going to take place to the lower scoring board normal boards. This is how it would look. Now I assigned each board a number as to their placement on the disc and this is how it can start. Well to make a long story short you add it all up I mean, this is the perfect game. No, you will not get a better scene order than this. This is the, the absolute tops. And the highest you can come up with is 509,813. You Not 558. You will not get 558. It is mathematically impossible. Now, there's probably maybe a few people at the Dragon's Lair Project that can confirm this for sure. They're not code. These are the score values. Like, number four is the fire ropes, and it's worth 5,303 5 points. Number 14 is the iron horse board, and that's worth 3,850. Number 16 is the skulls and skeletons board and that is worth 3,859 points so you get the idea now this is playing through with, with with no loss of life none and once you clear the first section of the boards you hit your nine level falling platform which is 22 and that's worth 5,292 points. Go all the way up to the top, start the second section of the castle. Now I took out the reverse, the normally placed reversed fire ropes and put in the wild card board of... Er, no, I took out the filling wall and put in the reversed fire ropes, wild card. It's worth slightly more points than the filling wall. Filling walls worth 428 points. This is worth 923. So you're replacing one lower scoring board with a slightly higher scoring wild card board. Now the th second one could have been the Drink Me board, which is worth 428 points, and I substituted that with the wild card Tilting Floor, which is worth 600 and uh, 6,602 points. And through the course of this dream game, I took all the low scoring boards out and substituted them with the placement of higher scoring wild card boards. Now you're doing all of this on one guy, completing all these tenth of a second precise timing moves. And finally, you get to the Dragon's Lair, 38. You get to the Dragon's Lair, you sack four men and clear the Dragon's Lair that's 166,000 points. Now there, there was an old scoring chart on the Dragon's Lair project and some of their score values are actually wrong because they did it on easy settings. When you do it on the hard settings some of the boards are worth more like 34. 34 is the Lava Men board as it's placed on, well, as, as it's structured on the disc. Barrel Water Ride, Lava Men, Night on Horse, Rolling Balls, Electric Cave. Actually, after the Electric Cave, there's another Barrel Water Ride board that's never accessed through the computer program. So I just kind of left that out of the list because it's not used. The Barrel Water Ride board you actually play is the one, number 33, the one before the Lava Men. So 34 would be your Lava Men board, and that is on the hard setting worth 14,643. You clear that, five guys to the Dragon's Lair, 38 Dragon's Lair, all five men. You sack four men, cleared on your last one, 166, 255 points, or 166,255 points. <clears throat> now I added it all up for a grand total of 509,813. Uh, where this 558 came from, I don't know. 
Well, well, probably. Maybe it was set at the same arcade Steve Saunders got his three million on Donkey Kong. But as far as on a standard five-man factory setting, no, it did not happen. There's my proof. I know there's not many people out there that have the expertise to confirm this. But if anybody is still at the Dragon's Lair project, been years since I've been there, and I know they do have a, they still have a couple of people there. If they still have a couple of people there, they can take a look at this and they can verify it themselves because they have as much knowledge uh, when it comes to the placement and scoring of this game as I do. So I am saying that 558. Uh, that was set in 83 on Factory 5-Man Dragon's Lair is bogus. Bogus. Even with the best placement of these random wild card boards, and even if you were, were able to pull the timing off on them, and get all the way to the Dragon's Lair and sack all four of your men, clear it on the last one, and that's what you're going to get. Now, I hope I took enough video of this. I mean, here's the list. Crumbling room, tentacle room, snake room, cauldron, giddy goons. Now, somebody that's familiar with the game will recognize the names I give them. Somebody else might give it a different name, but they're pretty self-explanatory when you're familiar with it. Um, and now, here's the chart that I made. Starting with number four would be your fire ropes or you might get the drink me board in which case later on in the game I replaced it with the tilting floor which is worth 600 and, or 6,602 and that is listed at what 23 or no 29 yeah 29 tilting floor yeah it's a 9 blurred a little bit when I highlighted it. But anyway, <clears throat> I took the scoring, I, I put the wild card boards in place of the lowest scoring boards. That is the best possible placement you could get for them for a high score. You hit the Dragon's Lair with all five of your guys left, you sack your four men, you clear it on the last one, you add it all up, and you get 509,813. Best possible one you could get. You're not getting 558. And that's kind of all I got to say on that. <clears throat> now, to actually play that game, you will never play this game under normal code circumstances and have those boards have just the right high scoring boards replace the low scoring boards not gonna happen way too much luck involved but if God was smiling on you and some divine intervention and some some miracle beyond a miracle that the game decided to replace all the lower scoring boards in the game with higher scoring wild cards and you were still good enough and lucky enough to hit the timing on him just right, hit the Dragon's Lair with all five guys, sack four, beat it on the last one, there's your score. Now if anybody out there can prove, <clears throat> I mean it shouldn't be too hard, I mean you can do it on paper, you don't necessarily have to play the game. That's it. See, I don't see 558 five, and change up there. No. I, <clears throat> there's uh, there's a, a 50,000 point difference. And I know my math isn't that off. <laughs> I can assure you that. So there it is on paper. No doubt about it. And I'm presenting that to Twin Galaxies if they're watching. Uh, not sure if they have anybody with any expertise, but you'd have to go to the Dragon's Lair project for that. There might still be a couple of guys around. They can do it just what I did and add it up. Just simple arithmetic and placement of the right boards in the right spot. And simple addition. And that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get 558. Not going to happen. <coughs> now... My laptop 
up. I was talking with Rudy on died. The battery's gone. But I pretty much wrapped it up. So I can probably bring it up on this computer now. Or no, wait a minute. I don't have Skype set up on this computer. Well, anyway, that's it. That's uh, that's my case for proving that the 558 on Dragon's Lair is not possible. I mean, it's it, it's in black and white. It couldn't be any more simple. Now the ball is in their court. 